Hi, I'm Hannah, and we live in the Milky Way. No, obviously not that one. This one. Of course this isn't the actual Milky Way. It's impossible for us to take a picture of our own galaxy, currently considering that we have yet to even create a craft that has completely left the solar system. Old photos that we use are either other galaxies or an artist's interpretation. Let's begin with the technical definition of a galaxy. A galaxy is a giant collection of stars along with huge expanses of interstellar gas, dust, and mysterious dark matter, all kept together by gravity, and most, if not all galaxies, contain a supermassive black hole at the center, formed when the galaxy was young and its squashed central stars collapsed inward. Galaxies can contain as much as a few million stars or up in the trillions. Our galaxy, for example, has over 200 million stars, but our nearest neighbor, Andromeda, has one trillion. We recently captured a new photo of Andromeda that showed us what one trillion stars really looks like. You can click here, the link in the description, if you're in need of an existential crisis. There are dwarf galaxies that are only a few thousand light years across, galaxies like the Milky Way, which is about 100,000 light years across, and the largest galaxies, which are about 300,000 light years across. A light year is the distance that light travels in one year. Considering that light is the fastest thing in the universe, that's a pretty substantial distance, about 5.88 trillion miles. There are three types of galaxies elliptical galaxies, irregular galaxies, and spiral galaxies. We live in a spiral galaxy. Spiral galaxies are, as the name implies, spiral. They have disc-shaped structures, often arms, and the age of their stars vary widely. Irregular galaxies have no distinctive shape and are often quite small, often only a few thousand light years across. They contain large amounts of gas and dust and many young stars. Elliptical galaxies, like M87 here, are large, but that's where they stop being so interesting, I guess. They consist of older stars and have very little or no star formation. Fun fact though, M87 was the first galaxy I ever saw through a telescope. When we take photos of galaxies, they're most often taken in the infrared, a wavelength of visible light that we cannot see. It shows us the heat in the galaxies, giving more color. Trust me, if you look through a telescope at a galaxy, you will not see this you'll see something more like this. Which is still really cool though, you're looking at an unfathomably large freaking galaxy with stars that could have planets, that could have life, that could have invented a way for you to download pizza from your laptop directly onto your plate. Probably not, but still, it's possible. Okay, galaxies are not evenly spread out. They're found in clusters, and these clusters are organized into superclusters, the largest structures in space. Most galaxies are moving away from each other because of the ever-expanding universe, but some galaxies, like our Milky Way and the previously mentioned Andromeda Galaxy, are destined to collide in a few billion years. For more info on this, you can click right here for the video I did in it a while back. Again, I'm Hannah, and we're making progress. I just stepped on the Milky Way.